Hey folks, hope you're having a great Wednesday afternoon. I just wanted to share again some of the favorite scriptures and wanted to continue talking from Philippians chapter 2. Yesterday we looked at verses 1 through 4 and today I want to look at 5 to 11 quickly and uh, it's a passage that's called the Christ hymn or hymn of Christ and it's a reminder of who Jesus is and then who we also are called to be. So let me read that passage for you, beginning Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Paul said, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. It's a great passage. It's a great reminder as Paul says that he took, Jesus took the form of a servant. He didn't count equality with God as something to be grasped, as something to, be, as something to hold on to. And so Jesus emptied himself of all the privileges that he could have had as, as God. And he came here and he showed us how to live life. He showed us how to love. He showed us how to serve. And he did that by emptying himself. And he took the form of a servant. He became like you and me, and showed the world the power of servanthood. And that's why so many people talk about servant leadership and the power and the importance of being a servant leader. And I believe that is so important for us. And I believe that comes directly from the way that Jesus lived his life. So that ultimately, ultimately in the end, Jesus is exalted and he sits at the right hand of God the Father so that in his name, Every knee should bow. Every knee. Ultimately, that's what's going to happen. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess what? That Jesus is Lord. And as Paul says in the end, to the glory of God the Father. So let me remind you today, wherever you go, whatever you do, can you be a servant? Can you serve the world? Maybe you can't do it like Jesus, but can you try? Can you try and do a little bit better every day and show the world the love and the grace and the power that comes through Jesus Christ? Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.